The University of Winnipeg's academic misconduct policy defines plagiarism as a form of academic dishonesty in which students present published or unpublished work, written, digital, or other, of another person or persons, or one's own prior work, in its entirety or in part as their own original work. While scholarship quite properly rests upon examining and referring to the thoughts and writings of others, when excerpts are used in any work submitted for evaluation, the sources must be acknowledged, using an accepted format for the discipline. So what does this mean exactly? Let's go through a few important points. First, let's talk about what they mean by scholarship. Scholars are people who read and learn from the work of others and add that new knowledge to their own. They then combine that previous work with their new ideas and write books, articles, research papers, blogs, videos, and other things to share with the world. As time passes, new researchers will find this work and add to it, building up our shared understanding of the topic. This process of scholars sharing ideas and building our understanding is called the scholarly conversation. As a student, you are learning how to be a scholar and how to be part of that conversation. Of course, you can't have a conversation alone, so to join the scholarly conversation you'll need to use other scholars' ideas in your assignments and research papers. And to use their ideas properly, you'll need to give them credit so your professors know where your ideas came from, otherwise you may be committing plagiarism. So what is plagiarism? Well, to put it simply, plagiarism is copying. It means taking another person's words or ideas and copying them to make it look like they're your own. So, if you read something in a book, then put that idea in a research paper without giving credit to the book you read, you have plagiarized that book. The same applies to things you find in other places, too. It's just as possible to plagiarize websites, YouTube videos, or tweets as it is to plagiarize a book or journal article. Also, notice that it doesn't matter if it's an entire book, a paragraph, a sentence, or even a few words. If you copy a unique idea from another person, you have plagiarized. But this doesn't need to be scary. You'll notice that the big difference between plagiarism and regular academic writing is that plagiarism doesn't credit the source. Writing an academic paper will almost always involve using the ideas of others. But to be an honest participant in the scholarly conversation, you'll need to give credit to the original source. Otherwise, it looks like you copied the ideas as your own, which is plagiarism. Another important thing to think about is that plagiarism doesn't need to be intentional. You can plagiarize by accident, and in fact, people often do. The consequences of plagiarism may be different if it's intentional or accidental, but it's still plagiarism in either case. For example, if a student hasn't taken good notes while they were reading their sources, they may accidentally include some ideas that aren't their own in their paper. This still counts as plagiarism, even though it happened by accident. Most professors, if they believe that you plagiarized by mistake, will give you the chance to fix the mistake and resubmit your work. If it's clear a student is plagiarized on purpose, then the consequences are often much worse. The academic misconduct policy exists to tell students that if they plagiarize, they are breaking the rules of the university. These aren't legal rules. Plagiarism isn't really against the law. But if you plagiarize another person's work as a student at the U of W, there can be consequences, such as having to redo the assignment, getting a lower grade, or even getting a failing grade in the class. This tutorial is here to help you understand what your professors expect you to do when you use other people's ideas. But before we get into the details of how to use other sources in your papers, we're going to look at some other reasons why it's good to give credit to your sources beyond not breaking the rules.